Hey YouTube, do you believe in fate? I'm not a particularly religious person, but there are definitely moments in my life where I felt very grateful for previous happenings, as if they've all led up to this one single moment and then boom, it kind of all makes sense. The reason that I brought this up is because the Friday had just been, I was a royal plonker. For any of you that don't know what a plonker is, it's basically a British word for a wally, which is also a British word. The Oxford Dictionary describes plonker as a foolish or inept person. Or a man's penis, apparently. Just to clarify, if I use the word plonker again in this video, I am definitely talking about an inept and foolish person, not a man's penis. So allow me to explain to you how I was a royal plonker. For the weekend just been, I decided that I wanted to go back home where my family lives in Wales. That's currently where I'm filming from right now. I'd had a really busy week and my boss told me that if I managed to get everything done by Friday at 3pm that I was allowed to go. So there I am, rushing to get everything done. But I am very conscious of how it's nearing 3pm and if I missed the 3.07 train it would mean I'd have to wait a whole hour in order to get the next one. And for context, it takes about four and a half hours to get home on the train. So an hour's difference can really affect the whole day. This is a foreshadowing for what's about to happen. So successfully, I managed to get pretty much all of my work done with about 10 minutes to spare. I managed to catch the shuttle bus, get onto the train station, get a train ticket, and I'm on the first out of the four trains that I have to catch that day in order to get home. So I thought to myself, well done Heather, pat on the back. Nope. No. Because I told myself that every weekend that I would do my best to film a YouTube video. So I thought to myself, this is a perfect opportunity to get some clips on the train um, and write something about uh, home. I don't know. Wasn't really sure where I was going to go with it. So I get to two out of three station changes and I'm on my second to last train home. And I'm headed for Crewe, which is northwest of England, around here. So yeah, I decide I'm going to do a bit of filming and it's fun and I'm enjoying it. And I'm writing in my notebook what I want to say in my video um, and trying to script it out a little bit. And I've checked my phone multiple times to make sure that I've got the train times and I've had a look and I'm feeling confident that I've memorised them in my head correctly. Oh, how efficient, Heather. Uh, so I realised that it's been about five, ten minutes since I thought the train would have stopped by now. And I'm starting to feel confused. So I check my phone and my heart dropped into my ass. I had missed crew by about half an hour. I had been sat on the floor filming and writing notes and missed my stop. <sighs> and so, you know, at first I keep calm because I think to myself, it's no biggie, I'll just get off at the next stop, go back and then leave crew, no problem. But no, no, no. I wave at the girl across from me. Uh, she's got her headphones in. And I ask her, oh, um, what's the next stop? And she's here like, oh, um, I, I think it's Watford Junction. I'm panicking quite a bit internally by this point. In case any of you are wondering, Watford is about here. So I decide to go and find a train conductor. Um, I go to this little food bar section on the train um, and I ask the woman behind it what is the next stop. She confirms that it's Watford and I explain to her, I've missed my stop. What do I do? Do I need to get a new ticket? And she pulls this face kind of like... At this point, because I'm panicking so much, I'm like, I, I do not need this right now. I need to be reassured that I can get home. Thankfully, the other train conductor was quite reassuring, even though he also did pull the same face of... He manages to get me another ticket, um, a free one, and even gets me a cup of tea, because at this point, I am crying a little bit. I wasn't like sobbing, I was just tearing because I don't know, I think it all just kind of hit me at once. There was the despair of knowing that I would, it would be hours before I got home, the, the knowing that I'd left work early for no reason, and the fact that if there hadn't been a late train, I would have had to find a hotel room in London. The reason I bring up fate is because what if I hadn't left work early? What if my partner hadn't put Eclair sweets in my bag to keep my sugar levels up? What if there hadn't have been a late train and I would have had to stay in London and I didn't have money in my bank account? You know, on the way home, this is all I was thinking of. I was trying to turn this negative situation into positives and looking a little bit more gratefully at all the things that did go right within a 
pretty crappy situation. It made me feel really grateful for all of the support that I was getting through my partner via text and through my parents by calling them and even the conductors, you know, for trying to reassure me just a little bit. But it also did make me think of people who are in worse situations, those who don't have homes to go back to, um, including refugees at the moment. You know, all I kept thinking of is, I want to go home. And it just made me sad that there were some people who wouldn't get a big hug at the end of the day, who wouldn't get a hot meal, just doesn't have a roof over their heads. You know, my situation, my mistake, there's nothing compared to what a lot of other people are going through at the moment. But yes, I should also mention that in the few moments of absolute panic that was going on in my head at the time, I did actually contemplate giving up YouTube because I was, I was being really good. I was filming and writing notes and I was being really productive for this to happen. And I just kept thinking in my head, well, if this is the life of a vlogger, I'm not sure I really want it. After one freaking video, like, maybe overreacting just a little bit. But yeah, in the end I did calm down. I checked out my social media pages for this channel, uh, checked out um, the YouTube comments, and I it really, really, really cheered me up. I've had people say such lovely things for my last video, and I know it's not much, maybe relatively to other people, but I have eight subscribers. Like, that's so cool. Thank you so much for cheering me up on such a crappy night. You all made me feel like, no, I, I need to keep going with YouTube. It's it's fun and it's really exciting that our little, um, what should I call it, teabag community is growing. I don't, uh, I'm sorry. I'll think of a better name. I hope you guys had a really lovely weekend um, and please let me know if you liked this video, what kind of situations have been eye-opening to you and in order for you to feel more grateful about your lives. Um, and do you believe in fate? Uh, I'd love to hear what you think. Also, I'm going to add a few clips of what I actually filmed on the day um, so that they don't go completely to waste. So yeah. Thank you for watching this video up until the end. Um, peace.